So Mikko, we are here in Joutsa. What are we going to do today? Well, during this season so far, we've been driving different kind of cars in different kind of surfaces, but we've never really been thinking how we should drive those cars. So today, we're going to learn how we're going to drive uh, rear wheel drive and try to take it so that it goes a little bit sideways nicely through the corner. Well, that's going to be a challenge to tell me how to do that, but how do you drive one of these cars then? Well, obviously it's always depends a little bit what kind of corner you have, but now we have pretty easy like a 90 degree corner. So uh, the basic idea with rear wheel driven car is that uh, you throw the car a little bit sideways and then you adjust with the throttle kind of the angle of the car in a corner and then with the steering wheel you have to also steer a little bit towards the way where you are going, but not too much. But basically you throw the car sideways and then with the throttle you just make it slide through the corner, so it's really easy. Well, I doubt that one, but I'll give it a go. But let's just go through the uh, driving through the corner. So can you describe me all the stages, how you go through the corner then with this uh, rear wheel drive car? Well, of course the corner always starts from the braking. <coughs> and uh, okay, like I said, it depends a bit of the corner, what kind of shape it is. You can uh, slow the car down with the brakes, but also with the rear wheel drive car, you can slow with the gears as well. And when you change from uh, uh, lower gears from fourth to third or third to second, it always locks a little bit the rear wheels, which you can use that momentum to throw the car sideways. Or then you can do a small Scandinavian flick, like we say. And then when you get the weight transferred, then straight away on throttle, and then you just adjust the rest of the corner with the throttle and the angle. And it really, really sounds complicated, but it's flat out easy. I doubt that one, but <laughs> let's go on a track and see how it goes. Let's see. So Mikko, now you can show me how, how the uh, corner is done with the rear wheel drive car. Okay, here we go. I'm just gonna take some speed. Now we are approaching the corner. Brake, gear, lots up. Do a throttle to make it sideways. We made it. Looks easy, but it's not. It's not like it. Of course, we are on tarmac, so we have, there's quite a lot of grip. So the weight transfer could be a little bit more aggressive. I'm going to show you again, and you can see the point when I lift the clutch now. Then the rear comes, loses the grip, and it starts to slide. Like the yeah, throttle straight away, and then you steer with the throttle after that. It's easy when the professional is doing so. I hope I can follow your example. We are lucky sometimes and it works. <laughs> now it's your turn. Let's see. So Mikko, I have to admit, it wasn't so easy. No, it's not so easy, but uh, like uh, you were getting it. It was better and better all the time. And a couple of the runs you did were, were, I would say, nearly perfect. But you demonstrated really well what happens when the car understeers and then when it oversteers as well. So you just have to find a good balance with that. But I have to say, controlling it with the throttle, that's the hardest part, trying to get the hang of it, you know, how much to put the car sideways and where to keep the throttle. It's not easy. Yeah, it's like, like the corner starts already from, from the entry and the weight transfer is really important. And that moment when you brake, the front goes down and then you get it sideways from there. And that moment, it's important to go enough back on throttle with the rear wheel driven car, but not too much. But also now we have a really good grip on tarmac. If we had a car, even though we have a lot of power, but if we had a car with more torque, then it would be easy to control the slide when it's good grip like this, but you did well. That was a nice day, thank you very much. You're welcome. 